Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome into Friday. Let's be brutally honest. This is the most exciting day of the week. The weather is beautiful where I am. Hopefully it is where you are too. We've got a last weekend of football to look forward to. Cheeky Champions League final over the weekend. We've got some of our absolute favourites with us already. Poxy. If you didn't catch Poxy live last night, competing in a draft competition, well, you missed an absolute treat. Uh, Pokes does a little bit over on YouTube. So if you click on his avatar, you can go and subscribe to his YouTube channel. But he's more of a streamer over on the other brand. Um, open yourself up another little window if you're on a desktop or an iPad. Go and find uh, Pokes' Twitch channel. I'm sure there's an address that Pokes could put into the chat. Uh, give him a little follow. Next time he's live, which may well be tonight, Pokes. So you'll confirm that for us. Um, it's always a treat. Every time Pokesy is live. Sean Paul. Uh, bonjour. Où est ce bon dia à hasta luego, Francia? Uh, that's, that's gone Spanish there, hasn't it? Even I know that that wasn't all French. Um... I don't know what Hasta Luega is. Um, is Hasta where? Uh, what, what, oh, uh, Sean, you're such a, a linguist. You you eclipse me with your intelligence. Uh, Joshua Brown is with us. He's predicting we're in Madrid. We'll get to that later. Got No Game is with us. Beaming in from the Emerald Isle. Come on, Got No Game. Give us a nice little Irish weather update. It's going to be fabulous out there, I would imagine. Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Friday. Wonder if you're going to need to find that bibliotheque after all. Callum Hayes is with us. He's always in on a Friday, Cal. Good old boy. He's probably out with Dad in some kind of watering hole. Somewhere up there in the northwest. Welcome in, Cal. Every time we do... Uh, what should we set you as the challenge with today, Cal? Every time we score a goal... Uh, to the bar, Cal. To the bar. Who will we be scoring goals with? Will it be Red Star Parry or will it be Arayo Vallecano? We'll get to that momentarily as well. Brian's with us, regular guy. Open this up. As you said, a good morning must be a good sign. Welcome in, regular guy. Hoping Pennsylvania is treating you well. Craig is with us, the King of Carlisle. Afternoon to you. The Sleeping Dragoon is with us up the Rams. Guten Tag, Lama. Berlin is definitely not on the agenda yet. Pokes, it's a beautiful day to stay indoors and watch play some FM. Pokes, you're on work time and we both know it. Tell me that you're not currently playing some FM. Uh, Mr. Truth, boom, boom. Shake, shake the room. Tick. Boom. Hasta luego. See you later. Sean. What's Hasta la vista then? What's what's Arnold Schwarzenegger talking about? Pokesy, you're not putting any addresses in the chat other than to share that you need a rest tonight after last night's shenanigans. But yes, usually the weds and the frieds. Pokes, you were a start last night, as always. As predicted, your squad betrayed your managerial talents. Um... But you were you were excited when you got that win, weren't you? When you beat Salty B, who may well be along on a Friday afternoon later. When you beat him, you thought you were in. Let's be honest. Jamie Sabo, hi Lama. Friday night in Australia. About four tinnies in, one eye on you, one eye on the cricket. It's India in the test, isn't it? So you've had to stay up to UK time to watch Australia play india well that's convenient isn't it best of luck with that welcome in jamie if you have a hand free for typing you've probably got one hand on the tv remote another on your your castle main 4x let us know where in australia you are love to find out who our overseas viewers support and where in the world they are based sun shining in ireland benjamin bessemer is in nomming it up this channel will be the end of your liver. Probably not, Cal. I don't think we're going to score many goals today. Uh, welcome in, everybody. Um, by the way, before we get too far into the football manager this afternoon, get your Champions League score predictions down in the chat for me. Um, are we going to go Man City, which I think most people are assuming are going to win? Are we going to go Internazionale? 
I've got a cheeky feeling for Inter. I don't know whether it's a cheeky feeling or whether that's just who I would like to win. I always have a cheeky feeling for what I would like to happen. Love an underdog story. Would like to see Inter Nazionale do it, if I'm brutally honest. I'd just like to see Pep overthink it and squander another chance to win a Champions League final. Let us know down in the chat what your score predictions are. Simon Thornley is with us as well. All of the heroes arrive en masse. If you haven't already, there was a video out on the Manager's Seat YouTube channel. Well, Wednesday, I think we popped that one out. It has got four of the most extreme save ideas you can find in Football Manager, and they all come courtesy of Simon Thornley. He's an absolute wizard of the save idea. Um, so go and check that one out if you haven't already. It's already got a couple of thousand views on there, and plenty of people are saying that two of the clubs in there are on their last save for FM23 radar, or potentially even their first save for FM24. So well done to Simon for those ideas. Pokesy thinks Man City are going to dominate. Going for a 3-0. Got, got, got no games going into Nazi on penalties. JB, City either lose 1-0 or run up the score. Joshua, I mean, I, I, I think Man City will either win or lose or possibly draw it. But I'm thinking it's going to be one of those three scenarios myself. Craig's with me. Craig's going for Inter. James Grover, bonjour, or should you say hola? James, that's the question, isn't it? That's the question. Where would we like to be this afternoon? Benjamin Bessema, you'd like Internazionale to win, but this is City's best chance, so reluctantly, you're going to say City. Uh, Simon, probably Man City to win by a couple. But the potential for the bottle job, Simon, it's like an elixir that keeps me going. Um... By the way, by the way, those of you, and I'm sure Glenn will be watching somewhere, uh, 92 updates. We're only, uh, what are we, two clubs into the 92? Uh, we've been to watch Oxford United play. We've been to watch my club, Birmingham City, play. The next three of the 92 are all lined up, all for the next ooh, three to four weeks. So the next three are lined up. One of them is going to interfere with one of our streams. Apologies for that. But we'll get to that news next week. Uh, JB, City winning is the death of football as we know it. I want Inter to win. Me too. Me too. I'm going for Inter. Talis is in. Now the party can get started. Talis is with us. I think we should jump into some football manager and show you exactly who we're going to be managing in today's stream. Braced positions, everybody. Here we go. Um, oh, Sorry, hang on. What's this? Benjamin, just letting you know that your chat on the screen hasn't scrolled down. Um, I don't know why that is, Benjamin. On my screens, it's scrolling just fine. Um... Somebody else might be able to let me know whether they've got problems on their screens. I'll try and press some buttons to sort it out if there's a problem, but I'll be brutally honest with you. Uh, this stream is held together with gaffer tape, string, and blue tack. Uh, apologies to those of you that might have got a little bit of a false alarm today as well. I did go live just to test some things out and try and get stream elements working. Uh, and then I ended it, and I felt very bad because people had started chatting. I'd already had... well. About 10 viewers join. Uh, I did call it test, but that wasn't a good enough good enough warning to people. Apologies for that. So if there's problems with the chat on people's screens, let me know. I'm having all kinds of issues with stream element. But let's jump into FM. Here we go. Braced positions. Strap yourselves on. Um, here, here we go. Oh, sorry. I get you, Benjamin. Yeah, it's the one... Sorry, it's the one on screen. The chat on screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Apologies. Now I'm with you. Let's see whether if I go into Football Manager anyway, and maybe if I come back out again, maybe if I come back out. Oh, no, it's still still problematic. Still problematic. There we go. Simon's got it anyway. We can see it on the sidebar. So here we are. Uh, sticky little run of form, I'm afraid, at Red Star Parry. Uh, lost to New York. Lost to Strasbourg, drew with Neem, down to ninth in the table. 
All of this has taken place under caretaker manager Stefan Bernard. Uh, because we've done it. We we did it. I think there was an air of inevitability about it, wasn't there? Um, gaffer tape. Nice football pun. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, no worries. Simon knew what I was talking about. Sorry. I mean, Simon. Uh, Simon's a far more intelligent man than me. Um, we have jumped ship. We are now at Rio Vallecano de Madrid. I think we just had to. It's too big an opportunity as Joshua Brown. Um, as Joshua Brown quite rightly points out, we are here in this save to try and win some trophies. Um, uh, and Joshua, again, is absolutely right. We've taken a couple of backwards steps. We, we got relegated with QPR when we could have been promoted to the championship with Birmingham. That was a huge backward step. And then, well, we got promoted into League One with QPR, and we jumped over to Red Star Paris. So that was kind of a sideways move at best, I would say, certainly budget-wise. It was a huge regression. And this was a huge step forward. They are in... The Spanish second division, just like Red Star Paris are in the French second tier. But the difference in terms of stature and in terms of budget and financial muscle and stadium size, uh, uh, particularly the difference in terms of quality of playing staff, means this is a huge step forward. Um, so why in the big fat failure turtles are we still in paris we're not still in paris it was my little sleight of hand there joshua you see what i did cal loves the sash peru vibes indeed absolutely love their kit i'm, I'm not buzzing about this iteration of their kit but i do love the red sash this kind of lightning bolt one I'm not quite a big fan of as just like the traditional sash personally, but Joshua, you never doubt. Let's be honest, Joshua, your your message just two up suggests. Yeah, you did. You you did doubt me. Um, we've jumped in to Rio via Carno, and I was a little bit worried. I I don't mind admitting that their board seemed very unambitious. And Wolf Tracks mentioned, I think, at the end of Wednesday's stream. Maybe they're in a significant amount of debt uh, because this is a, a side that have a media prediction of finishing second, having been relegated from La Liga last season. This is why they are such an attractive uh, proposition to us. But the board want us to just avoid relegation for the next four seasons, which Wolf, he speculated that might mean that we were in a little bit of financial disarray. Turns out that's not true at all. We've got the best part of 10 million smackaroos in the bank. We've got a transfer budget north of £5 million. We're only spending, what, 45%-ish of our £729,000 a week wage budget. Just bear in mind, the wage budget at Red Star Paris was £50,000 per week. So we've got plenty of room in that. We've got a big enough scouting budget that we can scout the entire world. Whilst I've been waiting for you lot to come and catch me up because I accepted this job on Wednesday afternoon after the stream, I didn't want to play too far ahead. So I've been working pretty hard behind the scenes, um, setting up uh, some little recruitment focuses. So we're doing lots of scouting in Spain. We're off to France and Portugal. We're in South America, Northern Europe, all of Europe, Germany. So we've got plenty of, uh, of assignments up and running. We did, when we were in the job interview, say that we wouldn't change the staffing structure when we first arrived at the squad. So we've not been able to bring any additional staff in, even though the, the, there's potential uh, for what one, two, another two more scouts, and what's that? Two coaches, three coaches, three more coaches, and some performance analysts. We look fairly healthy in the coaching stakes, anyway. Um, but I have played three fixtures so far, uh, just so I could get a feel for the squad, start planning a tactic. So that when we came back today, we would be up and running. 
Um, and it's gone well so far. So let's show you. So they actually won a game 2-0 against Andorra, not the nation, the football club. Uh, Gerard Piquet's football club. They won that game under their caretaker coach. Uh, we've played games against Albacete, Abar, and po Ponferradina. We've won all three of them. Now, Raya Vallecano were one place outside of the relegation playoffs when we took over. We've already got them up to 12th. And we've won three games. We've been behind in two of these games. But we've done all right. And I'm going to show you what I've done with the tactic in a moment. Uh, if anybody wants to have a little guess at the formation down in uh, down in the comments, go for it. Go for it. Um, Joshua's asking how far off the playoffs are. We will show you the league table in a moment, Joshua. We'll have a look at that. Uh, Simon, if Ryo means Rai, courtesy, uh, uh, or means Ray, uh, courtesy of Google Translate, why are they called that? Because they are, they are, they are Madridist rays of sunshine? I don't know. I'll have to look that up. I've done a video on Ryo Vaicano, and I don't know why they're called Ryo. Uh, Joshua Brand, look. You stuck with you through Oliver Prasnovsky, Lorit Haliti, and Corentin Rue. You are the most loyal of companions. Thank you very much, Joshua. By the way, you've just rattled off three players who I'm not sure of. Corentin Rue rings bells. I don't remember Oliver Prasnovsky. Doesn't ring any bells at all. Wolf Tracks. Hola, Lama del Entrenador de Football. Bienvenidos a Madrid Wolf. You're a North American. You all speak Spanish, don't you? I'd imagine you're pretty, you're pretty fluent in Spanish. Welcome in Wolf Tracks. We were talking about you, by the way, saying that you uh, you speculated at the end of the last stream that we might be in a little bit of financial trouble at Raya Vallecano, given their lack of ambitions. Turns out that wasn't true. We're actually looking financially pretty healthy. Squad-wise, we're not looking that healthy. Uh... Don't let the three wins that we've managed to conjure up fool you. The squad is old. And outside the first 11, it's very limited. Few talented youngsters that we'll show you. Tan Jung is in. Good afternoon. Hope Indonesia's uh, fabulous for you. That is your part of the world, isn't it, Tan Jung? Um, let us know, by the way, what is the time in your part of the world? Um... We've got Craig predicting it's going to be a 4-4-2. Greeno is in as well. Welcome in, sir. Good afternoon, everybody. To the newly married Greeno Eats. Not not even been married a week, that young pup. Uh, buena trader salama coma esta. I'm just going to say si. Uh, Wolf's going with 4-4-2. Dos. Benjamin Bessemer's going 4-4-2. Ryo means thunderbolt, Craig. Thank you very much. Folks, it is. That's, I mean, that's pretty good linguistic ability. Look at the quality of chatter we get in here. Uh, no financial issues. Are you guess they made some terrible transfers. No other reason you can think of that they get relegated. Well, when I show you the squad, Wolf, you will understand it. Uh, the squad is it's pretty limited. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it pretty limited. But we are only, what are we, maybe five weeks away from a a transfer window where we've got some funds to do a little bit i'll talk about my transfer strategy in a moment because i've been i've been after i've had 48 hours to get my feet under the viacano table i realize you're all getting used to this right away tanjung yet yeah, 7 p.m what a beautiful time i want a weather update as well tanjung please weather update if you could got no game will bermudo be coming back to his old club is that a thing? Did Bermudo come from Rio Vallecano? And if so, why would you know that? And I don't. Um, where is he? Oh my goodness. How do you remember these things? Bringing Jesus home to where it all began. Not Bethlehem, but but Madrid. Is he? Is he from Madrid? Uh, no, he's from Hatafe, which I don't think is that far from Madrid, is it? Hatafe, about 40 kilometers. Uh, did he play any first team football? He played bits. He, he scored a La Liga goal here. Hmm. Do we go hunting for Jesus? 
Maybe, maybe. I'm not sure whether Jesus is going to be good enough. I'll say that. The second tier in France and the second tier in Spain look like very different beasts to me. Um, Joshua, you need to watch Border Adventures. It, you can't be the only person that remembers it. I can't narcissistically go back and watch my own YouTube series. I mean, who does that? If people are looking for three wise men to help Jesus, uh, then they shouldn't look in at our... Hang on. Wolf, come on. We've got plenty of wise men here. Not not hosting, but certainly in the chat. Um, plenty of wise men. We've got Craig. We've got Simon. We've got Poke. Sorry. <laughs> I nearly got through that one without a smile on my face. Apologies, Pokes. Apologies, Pokes. Um, Greeno, if you need a team talk, how about this? Uh, Boutros, Boutros, Garley. Do you know what, Greeno? Do you know what? If I had a little bit more time, I was about to go and, and, and go and try and find that little bit of audio. Um, I'm going to get that sorted for Monday, along with assorted clips of Manuel, I would imagine. They are my only two reference points for speaking Spanish. Uh, unless I can find some 90s El Dorado clips. Now, if you are south of 40 years old, you've got no idea what El Dorado is. Apologies for that. Um, let, let's show you how we've been doing then, shall we? Albacete, 3-2. We were a goal down, I think, at half time in this one. We were. We were a goal down at half time. And then we came back and scored in the 51st, 54th, and 60th minute because I completely redesigned the tactic at half time. Okay, come with me now. Come with me. I'm just going to show you what's been going on under the hood. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Um, first game against Albacete away, I went with a 4 4 2. There, look, hands up. I said it. I went with a 4 4 2. I thought, play what you know, keep things simple. Um, they didn't really have the players for a 4-4-2. So I bought in some youngsters. They didn't really have the players for any kind of formation, to be honest. Certainly not a conventional one. Um, so I've gone with something unconventional. It's kind of like boxy, diamond esky, Emil Hesky. We'll, we'll show you it. We'll show you it. Um... Are we going to try and find three Ju? I still don't know what to how to pluralize Judas. Three Judais, Ju Ju Judases. We're, we're always on the lookout for a Judas and a Jesus. Uh, Puck's charming. You'll have to go back and watch some of your own YouTube videos instead. Manuel was from Barcelona, though. Uh, by the way, apologies, apologies. I've got I've got Discord dinging at me. Ah. Um, oh, it's it's only hold on hold on one second um talis has been hard at work can i get this over onto our screen here can i get this over here um here we go look here we go it doesn't take him long set one a jevova kit that's not a not a kit manufacturer i've ever heard of Set two is a, a nyai kit. Um, I look, oh, look at the state of that away kit, by the way. That's filthy, isn't it? Um, and I love the collar detailing. Do you know what? Is this a 90s throwback thing by yours truly? But I love a little single button on a collar. Um, I'm at a tour. I, I don't know. Um, you give Talis some feedback da down in the comments there. Uh, what are we thinking? Set one, set two. Let's get that off the screen as well. Let's get that on the screen. You'll see I've been chatting too behind the scenes. Um, so Dragoon, yeah, we went with a good old bit of Brexit ball. It lasted until half time of the first game. Um, they are nice kits, aren't they, Wolf? They are nice kits. You'd say Hatafe is a municipality of Madrid, like Fuenlabrada, Laganias, and Alcazón. All municipalities. Is Hatafe on our list then? Uh, let's have a little look here. Oh, they are. Yeah. Hatafe are a club that's on our list. So, yeah, okay. Could have gone there. I think Viacano are a similar size to Hatafe 
in real life. Perhaps not in this stream. Um, by the way, here we are. Look, 12th in the table on 22 points. Four points off Zaragoza. Uh, but we've got this cheeky little game in hand, by the way. We've played 15. Most other teams in the division, some at the bottom have played 14, but most of the teams ahead of us have played a game more. Win that, we're on the cusp of the playoffs. And yet when we came here... Um, we were down in 18th, 17th or 18th. So we've had a good little start. Good little start. Tanjung's going set one. Uh, distinctly average. Afternoon, Craig. Good to see you. Wolf tracks. The only thing the kits need are a llama badge somewhere. Yep, llama badge on the sleeve. Should we Should we go again? Should we go? Hang on. Pokes, Pokes is messaging me now. What's Pokes up to? Well, for goodness sake. Who is this? I mean, look at the kind of stuff I get messaged to me via Discord. Thought you'd drop me a DM to distract you as a reminder we drew 2-2 two -two in PvP. Please, please. Um, yeah, look look at here. Can I, can I try and highlight that with the cursor? Can you see that? A little bit of llama ridge on the sleeve there. Keeping FM Digi as the sponsor as well. Big fan. Big fan. Um absolutely lovely um yeah we'll have a madrid derby against hatafe who i'm guessing are in the division above um they are 12th and a mid table in the division above not doing too badly at all are they really um so we've got that to look forward to simon thorny likes set two very nice touch with the llama badge says tanjung um pokes by the way classless absolutely classless honestly you win one match of pvp last night and now you're you're throwing all of the abuse my way this is why i don't compete in these competitions pokes by the way you're very brave maybe maybe when we we do a little bit of streaming over on the purple brand we might we might enter one before the end of fm23 but i would be high relying heavily on the chat because i do not know elite level footballers uh if it was a if it was a vanarama league two maybe championship and below kind of draft i'd be in with a chance i think by the way sorry if you can hear the ice clinking in the glass it's uh, it's pretty warm under all of these lights so we've got ice in the drink today um of the two you like both but honestly set one but you know what i mean talis all, all of these lovely people in the comments having their say. You're the one putting in the effort to design these. So I think we should go with your instincts here. If you if you like set one, then that's the badger for us, I reckon. Um. Anyway. So we were in the middle of showing you our form. Showing you the table. So we were at a 4-4-2 until half time of this Albathete game. When you were... Uh, when we were one nil down, sorry, Benjamin, you meant Laganias. So where are they in the table then, Laganias? Uh, a little bit below us now. We've got them coming up, I think, haven't we? Um, oh no, that's Levante. Uh, we got them before the end of the season, though, at home. By the way, we we've moved to a new stadium in this. Um, so this is the custom-built 23,000 Rio Vallecano Stadium. Um, so I had to get a computer-generated uh, graphic of a, of a Rio Vallecano Stadium just so that we didn't have one of those terrible generic football manager grounds that it gives you. Greeno, you believe that the Jivova brand was established as the clothing factory owned by Mike Baldwin in Corrie. It's pronounced give over. Greeno, as always, your knowledge is invaluable. Superb. Look at this, by the way. We just need to, if you all just go and follow Rio Vallecano on Twitter, we could get it up to just over a million here. Um. Anyway, I think we've procrastinated on this tactic long enough. So this is what we've played that's got us the three wins. I'm not saying it's our long-term plan. I designed it on the hoof at half-time against Albathete because a 4-4-2 was doing absolutely nothing for us. Ugh, so here we go. It looks like this. It's 
unconventional. It's a kind of a long diamond with a box midfield. You'd think that means that we would have fullbacks bombing on and delivering width. We actually don't. They're quite conservative fullbacks. Although the space ahead of them means that they do get forward and deliver. They're both left backs, unfortunately. Oh, sorry. No, they're both right backs. So Davide Gentile is a right back, but we don't have a left back. I did say the squad was thin. So there, he's playing over a left back. He, he looks pretty good to me. Look at the calibre of player in Gentile compared to what we were playing at Red Star Paris. So, I mean, that looks good. Uh, we've also got uh, Alvaro Nunez, who I think is an even better right fullback. Um, so, I think we're well stocked there. Bit older. Uh, he's got another year on his contract. I'm not keen on that, to be honest. And Albathete are interested in him. So, you never know. There might be business to be done with him. Um but yeah, we're playing a very odd looking uh, formation. Simon, it's very ugly. Joshua, remember when you criticized teams for playing two number 10s? Yes, but now we're doing it. We've got a playmaker and we've got an attacking midfielder. By the way, one of the attacking midfielders injured. So I've already kind of grown attached to a youngster that is my kind of my pet project this is Guillermo who I found knocking about in the under 18s I think Guillermo looks all right what do you think could be worth as much as 1.7 million he can pass a ball lovely first touch and technique otherwise technically he's got a few gaps granted but mentally looks all right to me um little bit of work and I think he's due a personality change and then physically he's not a million miles off double figures everywhere only 17 I reckon we could get these up to 11s and 12s maybe get the agility to 10 I think there's a a, a very nice looking player there a bit rough around the edges but could become good I think so so we might bring Guillermo in for today's game. Should we introduce you to some more of the squad? Here we go. So our goalkeeper is Diego Conda. Um, 33 years old. Not keen on that. His ex contract expires in seven months. I'm probably going to let him go. Because, I mean, that's probably not as strong as goalkeepers that we've had at QPR, Bromley and Paris. Um, I mean, he's performed okay so far, but... I don't think he's going to be around for a long time. And look at this, nine and a half grand a week. I reckon I can find a better goalkeeper than that on half that money. Centre halves, we definitely struggle. Uh, we have Bubakar and Dai, who's only five foot eleven. I think looks pretty good, but uh, got injured in the first game against Albacete and isn't really fit enough to return. I reckon he's all right though. Probably not as a centre-half long-term. Probably probably not really as a left-back. But I think he'd be a good backup. Conde looks a bit like a bad photo of, of Casillas after he disguised himself to rob a bank. Could well be. Is it the thin moustache? Is that... He's got a very high shave line there as well, hasn't he? Um, so we're not doing great for centre-halves. We've got Victor Sierra, 20... £3,000 a week. I honestly, I'm not sure he's any better than Corian Darber, who we were paying like uh, £1,000 a week for at Paris. I, I don't think he's great, personally. Uh, he's got two years left on his contract after this season. Girona are interested. Throw a million pounds our way, and I, I reckon I'd let him go, you know. I fancy doing a real full rebuild. Uh, another centre-half we've got is Adam Obert, uh, Slovakian, Greeno. I don't know whether this is a player you might have heard of. Uh, you follow Slovakian football a little bit, don't you? Uh, 18k a week, 29 years old, and he's got three years on his contract. Not sure about that, but he is at least good. Um, certainly, I think he's got another season with us in him. Um 20k Tanjung. I know. Don't you think they've overspent a little bit on some of these players? By the way, not all of these have come in on free transfers. You know, they've they've paid fees for some of these players. 
Um, Sierra would be good in corner situations. Uh, he handles the corners very well, Sierra. Um, you should go for a team of NATO alphabet names. Oscar, Papa, Romeo. Could do that. Could do that. Isn't Victor a call sign as well? Is that is that one? Um, so it's not great back there. Uh, and the captain of the club is Sebastian Vegas. Probably Vargas. Uh, £22,000 a week. 34 years old. That I am letting that contract run out like you wouldn't believe. I just... I mean, other than providing a little bit of auxiliary cover this season, I just don't see somebody with that kind of physicality jumping into our team. Plus, he gets forward whenever possible. Not for me. Not for me. Victor and Sierra, both of those beautiful stuff. So we're not looking great in defence. Um, the reason why I tried to play a 4-4-2 originally is I was trying to get some of the youngsters in because they have got some decent young players. Vicente Amuica. I, I gave uh, a, a bit of game time to. I thought, I thought he might be okay uh, as a winger. Juan Luis Suarez. Uh, I gave a little bit of game time too. I thought he might be okay as a winger. These are all youngsters. And in that first game against Albacete, we did not look good at all. Uh, they've got Francisco. Uh, Francis, well, let's just call him Francisco, I think. Another player I thought, you know what? That's not a terrible winger. You know, we could do a bit with him. Maybe he's going to be better as a right back. You know, because his marking's not great. But otherwise, he's okay. But at half time in that game, I thought, you know what? Let's just try and reimagine this. Let's try and get some of the more established veterans into the squad in their natural positions. And uh, and we gave it a, we gave it a go. Oh, what Mayika has got twenty aggression as he has. Love that. It's one of my favourite attributes. Um. So let's show you what we've got a little bit further up the pitch. Then it's veteran time again. Tom Leku, twenty nine years old. A bit so-so, really, isn't he? A bit so-so. And we got another veteran uh, for that DM spot as well. Raul Guti. 34 years old. Another player who I'm quite happy to let that contract run down because physically he's gone. Sean Hammond, welcome into you, sir. Afternoon, everybody. Well done on Wednesday night, Sean. You must still be reveling in all of those clips of, uh, of, of Declan Rice and David Moyes dancing uh let's keep going forward we have got alberto dominic who could be a center half jumping reach a nine suggests probably better in the dm slot or in central midfield where we're playing him best part of 20 grand a week it's not great i mean it's it's okay it's all right it's not great uh this player is good though Okay, approaching the veteran stage again, 30 years old, Christopher Askelson. Now, I'm not showing nepotism here just because it's a Norwegian. Decent all-round player here and has played all right in the in the games that we've done. Got a 7, got a 7.4, and then in Albathete, a 6.9. So, Askelson looks pretty good. Tanjung, this squad really is old. It really needs a big refresh. So, I'm thinking, get to the end of the season... And just try and completely upgrade it. I'm thinking, rather than try and just bring players in willy-nilly in the January transfer window, just try and sign two that I would be happy to have in the first team next season. Just try and get two real good quality players in. No panic buys. Um, then, this is a good player, although another oldie. 33. This is... Hmm, help me out, Dutch people. Bruce Thiel, um, who actually has played really well. So he got two goals and assist in the last game. Got an assist in the game before that. Unfortunately, has now picked up an injury and is out for two to three weeks, which is why I think uh, we are going to be drafting in Guillermo in his place. We've got another oldie as well, 33 years old, Kevin Agadello. Uh, Colombian, 20 grand a week again. 
Uh, you tend not to worry too much about squad age in a journeyman. Only going to be there a couple of seasons. Well, do you know with Viacano, I think this could be a bit longer term because I'm going to try and win La Liga with them. So I'm thinking this could be five years. So I'm thinking of just bombing out the entire squad, more or less, at the end of the season. Keeping a few as backups and just trying to go with a new squad next season. Whether we're in this division, which is likely, given the quality of our squad. But I've not given up hope of maybe squeezing into those playoffs. Um, Sean's a very happy hammer. Rook's in as well. Welcome in, Rook. Hey there, everybody. Oh. Oh. Sean, where, where are we managing at the moment? Missed the last couple of streams. Been unwell recently. Hoping you're feeling better, Sean. Hope your health is good at the moment. Uh, we've literally, for this stream, uh, we've moved from Red Star Paris over to Rayo Vallecano, who are mid-table in the Spanish second division. Um, gonna start to send, gonna need to start sending some scouts out. Um, so that's done. Uh, how do I do that? Oh, I'm probably going to scouting, don't I? So I've already set that up because I didn't really have much to do for the last couple of days. Uh, I was watching Pokes in a draft tournament last night and I, I didn't want to play ahead any more games. So I've redone all of my training regimes. I've redone all the scouting assignments just for something to do, really. So we're in Germany, Europe, Northern Europe, South America, France, Portugal, covering Spain as well. I've upped the scouting budget so we can scout the whole world because we had a scout that had good knowledge of South America, but we couldn't send him there because we had the scouting budget set so low. So we've upped it to the world scouting budget. So hopefully they'll find some little gems for us in time for the end of the season. By the way, you'll be proud of me. I've also cleared out the shortlist as well. So, so that's pretty good. Uh, who's the player we've not showed you? Ah, so the player we've not showed you, I think... I might have turned into a bit of a goal getter because Francisco Javier it could be played as an attacking midfielder. Um, and he's no great shakes, really. Um, I mean, if you compared him to maybe Bermudo, he's comparable, maybe. Maybe even slightly worse. But since I've come in, he scored two goals and got an assist. In the second half against Albacete. Backed himself a hat trick in the next game against Ibar. And then got himself an assist against Ponferradina. So, I mean, he's had a good old time of it. I don't think he's amazing. But I'm playing him as this little poacher with the rest of the team. Either trying to sort of, you know, get up and support him or feed him. And he's been very good so far. So, I'm quite pleased with that. We're going to make one little change on the bench for today's game. Tom Lecou is struggling for fitness. That's not great. We might have to bring in Raul Guti. Uh, and we're going to get out there and we're going to play our first game for you. Our fourth game since we walk through the door. And we're going to be taking on Valencia Mastaya, who I assume is just Valencia's B team. Um, I did notice, by the way, that Real Madrid's B team don't seem to be in this division. They must have got relegated. Barcelona's are... Um, and Via Reals are. Otherwise, that's it, I think. Um, Sonny Maggio, love that thumbnail. Welcome in, sir. In there, buddy. No! Good to see you, Sonny. I hope you're well. Hope you're finished for the weekend as well, enjoying a little bit of downtime. Hopefully, you're back home. Got a bit of FM on, the, on one screen. Bit of this shenanigans in your peripheral vision. JB, can our next club be in Iceland? The supermarket or the country? I don't think our next club could be in Iceland. One big barrier to that would be not me not having Iceland loaded. Um, okay, let's get out there and take on Valencia's, I'm assuming, B team. Olama. Is this a song? Olama. You, you came and you gave without taking, but I sent you away. No, let me read the rest of the message. Olama, after our discussion... You made a couple of changes to your 4 two, 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 two formation. And it's working nicely. Interesting. Interesting. Si what do you mean, Si? It's Friday afternoon. You can't have a meeting in 15 minutes. That's inhumane. Inhumane. Do you, should we call you a boss, Si, and just say it's not happening? Or are you the boss? Um, I'm not Madrid. No. I am not Madrid. I am Viacano. 
the best club in Madrid, bar Hatafe and Atleti and possibly Real. But apart from those other clubs, the best club in Madrid. Um, how did Ibiza manage to win the league a few years ago? Um, is, is that a thing that happened? They did indeed. Where are they now? They're back with us though, aren't they? Uh, yeah, there they are, Ibiza. Um, oh, they've moved to one of these silly little stadiums as well. Can't stand these. Can't stand them. Um, the tactic experts in TMS helped. Who did you get helping you out, Alice? They're good. Please load Iceland. This is your new crusade. I've played a fair bit of Icelandic FM. It's where I dragged Mrs. Lama on, on honeymoon, Iceland. May, may have taken her on a tour of Icelandic football stadiums. She was thrilled. Um, okay. Three wins on the bounce. We've scored three goals in each of them. We're losing this 1-0. Uh, no doubt in my mind. You've heard that those TMS guys know what they are on about. Yeah, the ones in the Discord do, Sai. The clowns that are running it, not so much. Um, particularly Stinger. No idea what he's talking about. Um, what are we going to say? Pick up where you left off. We're looking at Francisco Javier, by the way, as our striker. He has been electric. Speaking of Stinger, this is almost his tactic that he was playing last night in a draft tournament. So we've won the last four, three of them with us, one of them with the caretaker boss. Um, and we're going to be away for today's game. So we're, oh, we're, pl we're playing in that sky blue with the sash. And we're off. Askilton's a pretty good player. Look out for him. Both fullbacks are pretty good. Pretty happy with them. They're both right-footed. So look for the one that's playing at left back to cut in before he delivers the ball. That, that's actually delivered a couple of assists so, for us so far. Here's our right back and our on-rushing midfielder. And here is Javier. I want him to stay more central as a poacher, but he's gone out wide to collect the ball. And we're underway. Teams in Sky Blue are doing well at the mo. Now, indeed, big game for them tomorrow as well. Talis JCO2 helped you out. There you go. I told you they're a knowledgeable lot in there. Here we go. Here is the here's the pup. All right. By the way, they got Tony Danza at centre half. Someone call him a taxi. We're, look, we're looking likely in the first 10 minutes. Nobody gets that reference, by the way. Nobody gets that reference. Apologies. Gentile now. Dominic, a midfielder I'm not convinced about. Guillermo. There's. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> So I've given, I've given Francisco Javier the big build-up. He has really blazed one wide there. Trust me, he's a goal-getter. Um, he's the only real striking option we have at the club, so I'm pinning my hopes on him. Nunez to Raul Guti. 34 years old, old Raul Guti. Might not have a full game in him. Here's Askelson. Tell you what, we're creating a few. Do you see how the tactic works? It's very narrow, obviously. Five in... Or six in midfield. Let me do my maths. No, it is five. Five in midfield. Very, very narrow, but we pass through teams quite nice. There he is again. We miss another chance. Um, hmm. This seems to be our game in hand as well, by the way. And we've created some really good chances and only hit the target once. XG says we should have a goal. Let's demand more. We're going to lose this game 1-0. They've not had a single shot. Hmm. And an injury to Gentile. Fabulous. Our right-footed left back is the only option we really have back there. Um, Sebastian Vegas. No, I don't see it really. Um, Bubakar is still struggling for fitness, although he might need to come on and uh, and have a run around today. Or we have Ronnie Alvarado. Oh no, that's that's a that's a hard no from me. Thank you, by the way, Brian. You got it. Tony Danza is he still around? Is he still around? Um, who are we bringing on at left back then? Bubakar, I think, isn't it? Who I'd like to play as a very small centre half, but. 
Left back this afternoon for him. Needs must. Uh, let's go with that one. Shooting's been rubbish. And Francisco Javier has been the main reason for that. Let's see if we can sting the players into life. I think if we could get a goal, we could get two this afternoon. But the longer this stays nil-nil, the more I see us getting sucker punched and losing this game. I should have played more offline. We were buzzing offline. Jimenez. Raul Guti's going to pick up the scraps. Is this still a kickoff highlight here? Okay, there he goes. Peter's out. One shot on target. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Come on, bring it on. Yeah. There's an air of inevitable. All right, we saved it. El Conde Passer has managed to save it. There's another reference for the kids. Um, we're in again. Askildson. Look at the little interplay. That's a terrible pass, but look at the at the interplay. Are we Tony or are we Danzin? <laughs> well done. I tell you, what, even that's a little cultural reference that's beyond your age, isn't it? God, you must have been a pup when the killers were around. There he is, Danzo. Get this away. Make this our highlight. Oh. Oh, I called it, didn't I? Oh, for goodness sake. What does my tactical Sherpa tell me? If you can call it, stop it from happening. They've come back into the game. Okay. I'm going to I'm gonna demand more of the team. It's immediately led to a highlight. Raul Gut is on the ball. Ramon Dominic. He's old with Dominic in there, but brings a lot of experience. Of French international football. Sierra handles the corners well, Sierra. Dominic again. Guillermo. By the way, how is Guillermo getting on? Not great. Okay. So the youngster I've put so much faith in. He's letting me down. Askildson. Javier. Oh, he's missed another one. Oh. Hold me close, Tony Danza. Oh, that's some of the best work I've seen. By the way, Cal, if you're at the bar, if you're at the bar, come on, get him in for that. Hold me closer, Tony Danza. Um, Sierra, the man mountain. Very good, Simon. Very. There you go, Cal, if you're at the bar, get two. Um, okay, people need to come off here because they are letting me down. Guillermo. Um, I've got nothing else I can bring on in attacking midfield unless I drop Javier down there and I don't have I don't have much for strikers either. The Corre, 17 year old, no. Vera, 21 year old. That's alright, I suppose. Let's try this then. So Vera for Guillermo. Javier for Vera. That's kind of two changes in one. Askelson is tired. <sighs> what else do we have? Suarez is a winger. Calzada. He's all right, isn't he? There we go. We're going to go with that. Okay. Fresh legs are on. Sierra struggling as well. I do not want to bring on old man Vegas, though. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to sooner or later. Okay, let's just leave it with those at the moment. We're only on the hour mark. Oh, we're not doing much, are we, since half time? Oh, I was going to go shout again, but here we go. Okay, come on. This should be ours. Nunez to Albert. Dominic. Okay, here's the substitute. And Vera's in. Come on, Vera. Oh, no. Rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. Anyone else getting a little buffering? Or is it only you? Uh, Craig did earlier. Andrew in the last stream. Very brief. Apologies. Apologies. Should we should we blame YouTube? I, I have internet fast enough to control NASA here. And still I still I get buffering. Um this is this is not going great. I feel a bit embarrassed. We've done so well in the previous games, and then this hmm. This feels a limp to me. Tom LeCou on for, for Gooty. Okay, all the subs are made. Let's go more positive. And it's forced to highlight. Here we go. 
Got two players on top of each other there. Not keen on that. And what are you doing shooting from there? Do you use OBS and the affinity trick? I I don't know what that means. The affinity. Oh, it's gone over that. I don't know what the affinity trick is. Um, Isaac, welcome in, sir. Have we moved to Spain? We have indeed. Here we are. This is our first game streamed live at Viacano, and we're drawing nil-nil with Valencia's B team. And we are missing some chances. Uh, we should be a couple of goals up by now, I feel. Oh, not with balls like that, though. Come on, Vera. Tony Danzo looks to launch a stinging little counter. Here we go, Vera. Oh, no, Danzo's every... Hang on, what's happened here? Penalty? Taxi for Danzo, what's happened? Check it. That's not a pen. Where's the penalty there? What's that for? Francisco Taver shoved somebody. All right. I think um, the player that's out injured took our last pen for us. We had one in one of our previous games. Oh, we've scored. Well, I think we got away with one. Goal! It's a good penalty, to be fair. Um, so, Reese Foreman, yet yeah, this is not Red Star Reese. You're absolutely right. We are now at Viacano, and I'll tell you what. This could be four wins out of four since we moved, if we can hold on here. And uh, well, we'd, be, we'd be looking more at trying to get in the playoffs than avoiding relegation. Which would be nice. Um, RC's with us as well. Going very well for me, RC. More importantly, how are you doing? Good to see you. Sai, if you don't know what that means, you'll DM me. Oh, Sai, I have to apologise. Technologically, I am maybe... Oh, well done, Vera. Goal! I'm maybe not a step down from Tony Jameson, but I'm a sideward step at best. It might not be an internet issue, but rather FM trying to use all your PC's power. Could, hmm. Could be. Could be. I don't like buffering, by the way. I don't like buffering. Let me check the old stream health, because YouTube does tell me that. It says excellent connection currently. I don't I don't know how much faith you put in that. Um, Scorchio. There we go, Scorchio. Yeah. Thank you, Greener. That's another one. Uh, Isaac. Arrived a new score. Not saying it's coincidence, but kind of is how you just, how you roll, isn't it, Isaac? You just, you just bring the magic. That was an unconvincing performance, I'm going to say. 88th and 91st minute. Um, definitely not better when we upped it to positive, by the way, didn't we? Uh, let's keep the morale up because I don't speak Spanish and they have no idea who I am. And they made that really clear when we had the team meeting when I first joined the club. <laughs> Literally, they all just looked at the floor and asked, who are you? Why are you here? Um... 25 points we're up to now. So we're already 13 points clear of the drop zone. And we were down in 17th when we arrived. So we're up to 9th now. We're looking all right. Zaragoza are only a point ahead in that final playoff position because Barcelona's B team can't get promoted. It's looking all right so far, isn't it? Tell you what. Vera ends his goal jout. Good old Vera. Uh, Gentile, six weeks. Brilliant. Broken a collarbone. Don't really have another left back. By the way, forgive me. Oh, sorry. I was going to... I was going to quickly end that track that was on in the background. God, that was a little bit obnoxious. But it, it's petered out anyway. Let's get him to the specialist. Sunderland signed Jake Jones. Why am I being told about this? He's on my shortlist. I've cleaned out the shortlist. I've, I've left Jake Jones on it, apparently, but I only cleared out the players below a certain value. Um, oh, Simon Thornley, Discord can be a bit hoggy, you find, and I've got Discord open. So let's correct that, shall we? Um, I 
let's close that down there we go and i've got twitter open as well so let's close all of those things down never know that might that might sparkle things up a little bit um substitute strikers good you think tanjung uh old vera lynn certainly certainly pretty quick and agile kind of like the off the ball movement or the composure if anybody dares to dangle anything close to 4.2 million in my direction i, I think i'd i'd snap their hand off for that love the idea of the star player walking in and asking kipato as llama plays the welcome in meme um kipato um jay jones sounds like he's got a european a european arena tour uh a little bit of a uh, little bit of britain's got talent or x factor about him I think you're right pokesy by the way have you knocked off for the weekend pokes is that why you're chatting have you have you finished your work week congrats if you have i was coming in your stream tonight pokes cleared my friday night you've already done what did you do when's the uh when's the draft for the playoffs was that monday night that's where it all went wrong i think isn't it pokes monday night you draft trevor shalabar at your own peril i think for a lone striker and two supportive ams you think you quite like the look of him do you um no you just procrastinate are you still working are you pokes by the way, if you if you're finished for the weekend, if you're declaring it the weekend, let us let us know your plans down there in the comments. Uh, we've got a very quiet weekend actually. I'm working Sunday, working Monday, working Tuesday, and then exams are finished. So my kind of my summer starts on Wednesday, which is nice. Working Monday, but we're still streaming. Uh, students. Uh, are booked in for tutoring sessions all day Monday, but one till three is free, so we can still stream a little bit of Viacano. And then I'll get back to the students after that. Our next game is against Sporting Gijon, um, who are second. Okay, so here's a test. This is going to be a proper test of us here. Oh, by the way, they've got that Solis. Has he been downgraded a little bit for FM23? Because in FM22... He went on to play for Madrid or Barcelona in my Europa save. He's clearly been downgraded a little bit. Isaac's got a bit of cricket. Uh, and uh, Suffering cricket for another Saturday after a week off. Oh, that's nice. Week off, then a bit of cricket at the weekend. Are you watching the cricket as well? Training all right on my new training regimes, aren't they? Nobody, uh, nobody in the worst performers. I've redone all of my training um i've created some new rio vaiacano schedules i've even built a couple of that i've got some rest days in there so i've got a little week of training with two rest days in there and a week of training with one day rest in there and then i've got my my rio one rio two i've got my my two games in a week schedule can you see how much time i had by the way how much time i had I wanted to get playing some games, but I thought, no, they'll want to see the early games at Viacano. I can't play half a season. So I just redid all of my training, did all my scouting, went through my shortlist and culled it. By the way, God, this is obnoxious song again, isn't it? Hold on. Apologies. Let's move that out of the way. There we go. Let's get something a little bit more. A little bit more gentle on there. Sounds like we're in some kind of Moscow nightclub. Okay, Gentile is going to be a big miss today. And uh, and Dai's going to have to come in even though he's not fit. I don't think we can even make a bench anymore. Well, by the way, look who I've got on trial. Uh, Malachi Fagan Walcott, who we had with us at QPR and they've released him. I just brought him in on trial just to see whether he was kind of up to the standard. I don't think he is. Uh, I'd, I'd give him a six-month contract if he wanted one, but nothing beyond that i don't think um tan jung's got me thinking about old vera lynn here attempts the overhead kicks oh, 
Runs with the ball down the right. Oh, I don't want him doing that. Well, maybe I do. Could be, yeah, it could be a right winger. No. Let's take that off. Just in case. Um, Jordan's in. Love the Desperado tactic. Oh, have you seen Desperado? Oh, very nice. Um, Greeno, you're off to Lulworth Cove. I've never been, but I've got plans to go in the summer. Uh, with the in-laws before they head back. Oh, of course, they've been over for the for the wedding. Let us know, Greeno, by the way. Do you have to have a second ceremony out there in Hungary? Or did everybody come over? Then you're taking the youngest to an outdoor pool on Sunday if the weather holds. Might watch some footy tomorrow evening too. What a beautiful weekend you've got, Greeno. Uh, Isaac, good to see you keeping former Spurs players around. Is that is that Fagan Walcott? Oh, yeah. Dundee and Spurs. Uh, Tanjung, you like Vera's flair, so sometimes he's doing bizarre tricks or bringing up a goal. What's his flair like then? Yeah, 14, not bad. Like his agility, like his dribbling. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with Javier for one more game because he's been good to me. And he did get, he got the assist in the last game, so didn't do too bad. And he's two-footed, likes to round the keeper, tries first-time shots. I like all of that about him. So maybe we'll give him, you know, 60 minutes and 30 minutes. Otherwise, I think we're set fair for this game. Askielson could do with the rest. So could so could Kevin. Oh, today's menu is kimchi burgers. Rooks, rooks on the grill. Very nice, very nice. I would love to make this five wins out of five. Bit greedy considering playing the second place team in the league. Let's see how we can do. Pick up where we left off last time. Let's go with that again. Oh. It's a nice old stadium, as isn't it? It's a step up from Paris. It's got palm trees, I saw, as well. Looking nice. Okay, we're in the white with the red sash today. Here we go. Obert. Lulworth is less than 10 minutes from Greeno Towers. Oh, we well, are lucky. I'm about 10 minutes from several uninspiring East Midlands towns. You're very lucky. Uh, oh, there's Guillermo. There's Guillermo. Uh, so it's a regular spot. No need for Hungarian wedding shenanigans, thankfully. Only so much soup and palinka a man can take. Quite right, Greener. Quite right. Stay strong. Not a great start to this game, though, is it? Although we're playing second in the league. God, I keep remembering that. Sporting Gihon are good. They're no, they're no mugs. Here's Gozzi. In fact, we need to get a tackle in here. Oh. All right, I'll let them shoot from there. That's okay. We'll let them shoot from there. Not too concerned about that. Askildson heads it away. What is Firewater? I feel like you've opened yourself up there, Isaac. You've opened yourself up. It's, it's going to be some Hungarian brew, isn't it? Um, Here we go. We're on the ball now. Sent it out to Undai, the left back. What's he got for us? Dominic. Gooty. Hang on. We're in. Oh, no. Now we're in. Oh, it's clipped the outside of the post. Um, <laughs> You're 10 minutes from the coast. I'm 10 minutes from a cement factory. Each have their own kind of beauty. Yeah, yours is aesthetic beauty and mine is industrial. I feel like we've maybe shaded it so far. And oh, the youngster. There he is, the 17-year-old Guillermo. I thought we'd shaded this first half. Look at this football through the middle as well. Guillermo starts it, plays a little one-two with the other youngster, Javier, and then that's a cool little finish. Ah, oh, and the sashes are celebrating. Ah. Oh. Played all right so far. Only that one shot on target that's gone in. 
We need to up our efficiency with our shooting, I think. There's a beautiful bit of FM graphics there. It actually came off the wall with, with greater pace than it hit it with. How's that scientifically possible? Two nil before half time. No. All right. I thought I thought I was asking too much. I'm gonna say two nil before half time would be on, on, on sightly, but one nil's not bad. And I'm gonna tell them off. Uh, let's give them the big one. They say they're absolute rubbish. Okay. Apart from Nunez, they've all gone with that. They've all gone with that. Sean, it was a nice little one-two, wasn't it? Um. Simon, Firewater is what the cowboy films have the Native Americans called Liquor Spirits Whiskey. Is that right? Palinka is a kind of plum schnapps. Can be used to strip paint or even dissolve bodies. Took a dark turn. Um, oh, no. We got Defender struggling already. Okay, we're going to bring on Old Man Vegas. Kevin could do with the rest as well. He's playing a 6.6. .6. Do you know what we're going to do, Tanjung? We're going to get your man on on 55 minutes, I think. Then we'll have three homegrown youngsters in our front three. Well, that was a loose ball by them. Here we go. Can we work something? No, we give the ball away ourselves. All right. 55 minutes, I think we're going for Tanjung. 55 and then we're going to rejig things and we're going to get Vera Lynn up front. Here we go. So Kevin is struggling. So let's switch Francisco Javier back to being the playmaker. In fact, no. Javier is going to have to go and be the attacking midfielder. Guillermo, I think, can be a playmaker. Look at that. Nice. And on the support duty, it comes deep to get the ball. So we're happy with that. And then that means that we can hunt out Vera and, and give them 35 minutes as a poacher. Let's see what they've got. Let's see what they've got. Um, what was Ryo's media prediction? It was second. And they were 17th when we took over. No Viva La Ve Las Vegas jokes. No, no, no. I didn't even spot that. I'm disappointed in myself, Isaac. I, was, I wasn't feeling very whimsical when it came to Vegas because I want rid of him. He's 34 years old and drawing a huge salary. Oh, no. And we're about to see it just get played through as well. Get up. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. Has anybody got any Vera lovely? Is that the shaman there, Greedo? Is that a bit of early 90s shaman you've brought to the table? I think it is. Well played. You lot are better on the songs than me today. Undai. Back to Ramon Domenech. Gooty. Yemo. Come on. Hear it. Oh, Kanjung. Uh, he was through. I mean, you said that flair means that he might be unpredictable. I think you're right. It's a good chance for Vera. Good chance. Tangjung. Hey, wow. Well, Petitioned for his inclusion. He looked pretty lively there. Askelton's going to have to come off. Um, for Calzado. Uh, we're going to have to make... Oh, Centre-half. And right back as well. God, we made a lot of substitutions. Do with some rest. I think they've got like a, a a December break coming up in Spain. Oh, by the way, I was about to say, let's just bodge on a little bit of time wasting. I might have left it too late. 87 minutes and there's a highlight. Dominic gets up. Vera's got the ball. Ah, oh, sensible play, Vera. Sensible play. Now get in the box. All right, corner. We'll take the corner. Playing some nice stuff. I think this tactic plays pretty good football compared to the 4-4-2 the wing play we were playing in previous clubs. It's quite cultured. Maybe a bit maybe a bit congested, a bit busy. Vegas has a header. And the highlight continues. I don't like that. 
I do not like that. Oh, no. Vegas. Oh, I'll tell you what. I've been criticising Vegas. Too old, too slow. Did some good defensive work there. We're into the highlights again. Okay, let's just let it peter out. What's happening here? If I pause it as well, I think that's quite a nice shape. You know, they're quite a nice split of a three. So Guillermo is playing kind of like a half winger there as the advanced playmaker. Then you've got another three in midfield. So, you know, we've got some nice, nice triangles. Triangle there. Triangles. Triangles in the midfield up front. It gives us some quite nice passing options. Oh, Dominic. Don't concede in the 91st. Get it out. Ooh. Oh, he's punched it. Oh, that was unconventional goalkeeping. Gendry just finished his shift in the forge. <laughs> just finished his shift in the forge. Dominic and I. Uh, it's just blow up time now, isn't it, ref? Oh, no, no, we got over a minute left. See it away, see it away. In fact, come on. Vera. Vera likes to drop off. Look at all these passing options. It's nice. It's nice. Look at the right back there, though. Oh, if we'd have hit that right back. Too late now. Ah, oh, it's a nothing chance. Afternoon all on holiday this week. So catching up with the streams in the evenings. Just popped by to wish you well. Whichever city. Madrid. Madrid. Oh, and you're hitting the like button. Very on brand. Very on brand. Enjoy your holidays. Oh, it's lovely when people pop in to say, I'm not here, but... 6.7 for Vera. I tell you what, we'll take 1-0, though. Because the other thing is... Well done, lads. We're starting to rack up a few clean sheets here. At Viacano. I'm going to say, what do we play? Five games. I think that's our third clean sheet. 3-0, 2-0, 1-0 we've got. Does that lift us into the playoff spots? Not quite. We're on the cusp, though. By the way, Malaga. They, they look well beyond the other teams in this division. Santander, a big old club. Former club of Nikola Zigic, I think. Um... I tell you what, we've done well to go from 17th to 7th. And look at that for a run now. 3-0, 2-0, 1-0. So that's... Actually, I say we've kept three clean sheets since we arrived. We've kept three clean sheets in a row. Progressively less goals each time, granted. But we got Cordoba in seven days. And I think... We've got time for that game. At least... Uh, Greenoids, Vera likes to drop off. He's got the name of a great grandmother. They all drop off after countdown. Tell you what, Greeno, you're on form. Have you have you have you been on the Palinka this afternoon? You're, you're doing some of your best work. This this is not Palinka, unfortunately. This is this is tap water. I live in a very hard water area as well, so I have to chew my way through tap water. Always nice. Okay, so what a quarter bar like. Let's have a little check. 18. I'm not sure whether that's good news or bad news. Their form won one of the last five. Agua. Sorry, Agua. Well done, Isaac. Well done. Bit of GCSE Spanish at school for Isaac. Uh, oh, who's been transfer listed? Harry Archibald. Aaron? No, not interested in any of those. Aaron Hughes is at Wolfsburg. As in the Aaron Hughes that I was trying to bomb out of QPR. All right, interesting. Interesting. I didn't give him a look in at QPR and he's playing in the Bundesliga. Although they slapped him on the transfer list, so maybe I was right and they were wrong. Uh, so we're into December. 
So is this going to be our last game before we take a little bit of a break? Oh, no, no. we got a couple more. And then, what's that? A 10-day break until... Oh, I've arranged a friendly. Yeah, so we got a little bit of a little bit of a break between a Levante Cup game and taking on however you pronounce that, Esportiu. My god, what on earth is with What is with all the aggressive music today? It's literally like like being in in Hamburg. There we go. Goodness me. Apologies. You're starting to think that Vera is for holding possession. Uh, because he just likes to pass in the... Ma he, he kept dropping deep all the time. What I didn't check, Tanjung, was he, he's, whether he has any player traits of, like, coming deep. Oh, that's the wrong player, so that won't help. Vera... Runs with the ball down the right, likes to round the keeper, attempts the overhead kicks. Doesn't say anything about liking to drop off and come deep, but I was doing that a lot in the previous game. Um, Dragoon, what do you make of the Saudi club signing everyone? They seem to be after everyone not nailed down. So they got Benzema, they got Messi, they got Ronaldo. Um, but. I don't know. I, I don't want to be I don't want to be offensive, but there's three players that have a combined age over 100, I think, don't they? They're very much in the twilight. Um I mean, I, personally, I, I'm I'm not I'm not keen. Um although I'm I'm based in England, so you know, I I don't want to judge the footballing morality of others when you're based in England, which is possibly one of the most immoral footballing nations on earth. Um, they've got Conte as well, have they? I did not know that one. Uh, I thought, oh no, sorry, Messi's gone to Inter Miami, of course, yeah. Um, again. Bit of a payday. So that's Beckham's club, isn't it? So they've so Phil Neville was just, what, a matter of days away from coaching Messi? What could have been? Probably the main reason Messi went was to learn from Phil Neville about tracking back. Do Inter Miami, do they have a coach now? Have they appointed? Do they still have... Um, is it Higuain? Then they have both brothers. Or have they left now? I thought they were into Miami. Uh, recruitment meeting. No, thank you. By the way, is it just me? But at recruitment meetings, I remember the start of FM23. Uh, you went to a recruitment meeting and they would recommend players for you to sign. I don't get that anymore. They just tell me about positions they think need strengthening and then they don't actually make any recommendations. Um, Malachi Fagan Walcott. Is there any chance, son, that you would come in on a very short-term deal? And I mean very... I'm not saying three years, mate. No, no, I mean seven months. Um, I might have to pay you a bit more, but... Would you would you come in just for the end of the season? Restricted to two non-EU players. We currently don't have any. I tell you what, he might come in for seven months. Hello. All right, we'll leave that on the back burner because I think that's not the worst player just as a bit of backup at centre-half to get us through to the end of the season. Did wonders for us at QPR. When were we in League 2 there? 7.18. Then didn't play for them in League 1. Oh, by the way, QPR bounced straight up to the Championship. Uh, just saying. Birmingham are down there, though. QPR are bottom. There you go. QPR are bottom in the second tier. And we're on the cusp of... The playoffs. Look at this. Loretto credits us with brilliant work. He's done brilliant work for Raya Vacano. Just hope you can catch him on a bad day. Oh, you're going to, aren't you? You're going to. Uh, 
Phil could have... Un I, do you know what? Got no game. I think you're absolutely right. If Inter Miami had just held off, imagine the player Messi could have been. Oh, no. Oh, this is a test of us. Who's the bigger club? Viacano or Barnett? Malachi Fagan Walcott will decide. Uh, you like the look of him, Tanjung, do you? Bit of squad depth. I mean, only for seven months, and then we can get him off the wage bill again. I think that's a decent bit of business. Uh, Kante's going nowhere. Uh, oh, sorry. Kante's going, and they're after Mares too with Benzema. Clearly, they're aiming for, for uh, yeah, for Muslim players to build up the league. Pogba, I think, would fall into that category as well. Um, Isaac, would get yourself a Fagan Walcott Viacano shirt if it happened in real life. Uh, I don't know where Fagan Walcott is in, in real life. Have we got anybody we can make a bench with yet? We still don't. Um... Will these players get through the game? I think they will. They all look fairly fit to me. Do you know what? We're going to go Lacou in there for... for Raul Guti, though. Still at Spurs in real life. He must be must be out on loan, I would imagine. When he getting some football? Um, I tell you, it really rates Kevin Agadelo. I don't. 20 grand a week. I feel like he's stealing a living at the age of 33. Bear, right, so bearing in mind, this player here is paid pretty much 50% of Red Star Paris's you know, weekly wage budget. Hmm. Maybe I'm being a bit unfair to him. Look at this run there. Got a goal. Got a goal. Got an assist. Got a goal. All right. I'm being grossly unfair. He scored three and five for us. Let's get out there and see how we get on today. Cordoba are right down there towards the foot of the table. And yet, I'm still waiting for the defeat. Um, what's the team talk? The team talks, I find, get harder and harder the longer you're on a good run. Um, now nah, that team talk's not worked here we go I've messed it up press the wrong button FIFA oh here we go Rook this is what we're after 25 games played 57 points on the board first by a point that sounds like a solid campaign to me how did you get on in the Open Cup as well didn't you have Barcelona if I remember rightly that can't have ended too well can it I knew I'd given the wrong team talk. Oh, I just knew it. Uh, you can see the charm from the stands now. Aguadello pushed by an apple. Greeno, you're on fire today. Uh, no loan for him, but did make 20 appearances in the Premier League 2. I'd like to see him and Tanganga become two main features for the side. Well, they've got to impress Big Ange then, haven't they? He seems like a very solid managerial appointment. I'm sure Spurs will give him six months and then he'll be gone, but he seems very solid managerial appointment to me. Um, knocked out against FC Barca. They scored four. That's not terrible, to be honest, against Barca, is it? Here we go. Here we go. Come on, youngster. Come on, youngster. Yes. <laughs> oh, by the way, was that... Was that Aguadelo O O shake pineapple push no, push pineapple shake the tree? It was. Here's me criticizing him. He's he's actually got three goals and two assists in his last six appearances. And I said he's stealing a living. There's only one of us stealing a living, and it ain't Kevin. That's a good start to the game, though. And we're in again. Here we go. Come on, youngster, get up. Guillermo is in. Oh, no. Guillermo teed him up, and that is a horrible finish. Raw, these youngsters. Let's say that. They are raw still. Not like a lion. Need a second before halftime. Look at this. The shots on target ratio is not good with this tactic. 
A little bit erratic in our finishing. Here we go. We're crafting another chance here. That's speculative. Very speculative. By the way, the ambulances are lined up. Are they expected? Rafa Benitez goes for it. Ramon Dominic beats him to it. Dominic stayed out wide. Go on, deliver. No, okay, fine. Don't. Um... Look, we're playing. This is very unme like football we're playing here, by the way. This is patient. This is composed. Look at that. Whoa, that is that is not the kind of brand of football that we've seen in the previous nine seasons of this save. I feel like we're, we're going a little bit fancy here, a bit continental. Imagine once I've actually got a squad of players. By the way, I'm probably going to... Gina G... No, Danny G. Ah, I thought there was a chance for them. It was just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, hang on. There might be a chance. Chino Marino. Gina G. Ah, oh, okay. By the way, I'm probably going to go out and sign a whole squad of players to end up playing a 4-4-2 again. I quite like the way these two number 10s are linking up with the striker, I have to say. I may have cast aspersions on number 10 formations in the past. All is forgiven. Can we break? Here we go. Here we go. Around the keeper. Oh, it's got that trait. Oh, 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 oh. hang on, hang on. We've gone too early. No, I thought we have gone too early there. Askilson this time. He's got this trait of liking to round the keeper. And oh, there we go. Goes to the side. 2 0 up. Take it. What's going on? Why are we on this strangely good run of form since we took over? 17th when we took over. What was their previous coach doing? Um, okay. Let's try and get this team talk right, because we did not get the last one right. The assistant says the media are giving you a lot of credit. Uh, you'll ditch all of the flair and vision and replace it with determined, brave soldiers. What, see, I'd already thought about this, Simon, and I, I, I was thinking, can we get brave, enigmatic technical brave hearts that's, that's not going to exist is it um okay what are we going to say uh, the credit team talks always good is it okay let's give that a go then let's give that a, oh go on we'll give that a little play I'd love another clean sheet because that would be four in a row. Maybe it's because we've just got a very odd formation and we're taking teams by surprise because we were in a very lowly position when we arrived. And the opposition, are gonna they're going to... Oh, they're going to figure us out sooner or later. Uh, when we always win, we sometimes know the loss will come sooner or later. I, I feel like that, Tanjung. I feel like we're just waiting for it. Because this team was close to the relegation zone when we arrived. There's a reason they sacked their previous manager. Leo Damus is in. Are we declaring it Friday, Leo? Is it in? Are we Are we saying... You've got to finish. What are you on? 20 to 4. Have we finished the work week? Are we done? Evening, everybody. Good to see us. Guillermo, the youngster, has another little go. Um... Oh, he's declared it. There we go. L meeting's done. Have you, what's that? Come on. Give us a Limburg weather update, please, as well. There we go. The youngster's in again. Oh, that's a great save. Limburg weather update. Have you got beautiful weather? We've got it out here in the UK. How about three number 10s? Dragoon. Oh, can you imagine? 
get a shadow striker in there as well. All the sun, meetings done, emails done, 30 degrees. We're expecting 29 tomorrow, I think. So maybe we're stealing your weather. Um, by the way, Tom Lecou, not good. Let's get Gooty back on. And Dominic not playing well. Ober struggling. Let's get Let's get Viva La Vegas on. Um nine percent beers for Leo. Yeah, Greener, you don't know Leo at all, do you? He would never touch a nine percent beer. Not on a Friday night. Third to cap it. Here we go. Sierra. Askelson. Dominic. Oh, we've gone long. Gone long a bit too early there. Bit eager. Maybe we need to just drop that uh, that tempo a little. Can we win it back? Get a tackle. Oh, a little bit soft in the tackle. This is why I want a team of Warriors. Under 10% uh, in weekend time is breaking the law. What do you want? Come on then, Greeno. Uh, list list your Friday night tipple. Leo, let's have your Friday night tipple. What are Belgian beers, Leo? Duval, is Duval? Is that a Belgian beer? Si's back as well. Sorry, Si. Uh, every, uh, you're declaring it the weekend. Fabulous. Leo Damus is declaring it the weekend. He's getting a 10% beer on the go. Greeno's declaring it the weekend. Pokes has still got meetings, but he's also, let's be honest, it was the weekend yesterday for Pokesy. Um, we need to make a couple more little changes. What have we got that we can do? Let's get our mate Vera on. Four. Let's go for Guillermo this time. There we go. I, I hang on. I can't pronounce these. What what's going on here? Triple Carmelier, Lashouf, Lashouf, chimneys. And Golden Drax. Pokes, I knew you were there lurking away, Pokes. You never started working. You let the work come to you, Pokes. Okay, Askelson's off. And oh, I think Kevin's going to struggle to see out the game as well, you know. Kevin's going to struggle. How many subs have we made? Four already. 75 minutes. Let's try and take some of the sting out of the game. What about that? Take the tempo down. Confirm the changes. Uh, that's how you pronounce them at the end of the night. <laughs> Fabulous. So my... Uh, not all of the... So in my defence, those are not all Flemish. There's some French in there, aren't there? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, how have you missed that, Dominic? If they really want you to do work, they need to come around your house, knock on the door, and ask you to do work. That sounds pretty reasonable. Uh, no tipple for Greeno tonight. Got to die. Uh, Got to drive the in-laws around, not dive. Don't dive on top of the in-laws. That would be very odd. Uh, they want to have dinner at ZZ in Dorchester tonight. Tell you what, you're living. Pizza will at least be better than the green bean and sour cream soup at lunch. Um, oh, there you go. You've got Pokes' attention. He loves a ZZ. I'm, I'm going to claim ignorance here. I mean, I know what a ZZ is. I'm not sure I've ever been to one. It sounds like the weather spoons of Italian restaurants. Am I am I close? I tell you what, if the opposition score here, here's me talking about ZZs. If they score, this game's back on. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. It's gone wide. It's gone wide. Benjamin Bessmer's back. Welcome back, Benjamin. Good to see you. Leading the charge into the weekend, old Benjamin. Are you working this weekend, Benjamin? Often you have shifts, don't you, over the weekend? Have you got a Saturday or a Sunday shift, or are you declaring it weekend time as well? Is Vera. Oh, he's in. Ah, oh, there you go. There you go. Our friend Tan Jung was right all along. Look at that for a bit of fleet-footed striker play. He has just absolutely shredded their back line and he put his foot in where it hurt there with the keeper. 3-0. Uh, 
Uh, Isaac, <laughs> does Pokesy eat pizza with a knife and fork? He eats chocolate bars with a knife and fork. So, yeah, my money's on yes with the pizza. He'll score again everywhere. It's a matter of when, but you know he'll score again. He'll fear a Lynn. Oh, Dragoon, I saw what you did there. He'll score again everywhere. It's a matter of when. But he will score again some sunny day. There you go. Tandrung's come to life. Vera looked good. He's got an eight as well. Could be a little player to keep around. Um, One of our own. Uh, from Pozuelo de Alcazón. I don't, I don't know how close to Madrid that is. But one of our own. Francisco Javier is one of our own. In fact... I'm going to have a little look at how many of these players actually came through our academy because although we don't have the greatest youth set up, it seems like they've produced a few. Oh, Benjamin, you're starting an hour, do you? Oh, no. Uh, Rook, you've still got two days of work this, so no weekend. But you've got another set of J-League matches to look forward to, so that's good. Um, By the way, I've got a, a cat that's trying to escape. I've locked myself into stream and the cat was having a nap on the chair. Uh, and the cat is now up and he, he's trying to tear his way through the door. Um, other people get their cats on stream. My cats would not come within a million miles of me. They, they'd only come over here if, if I wasn't here and they wanted to sit down and have a nap on my office chair. Um, how many of these players are our own then? Um, oh, Simon's got a meeting. A Friday afternoon meeting. Don't worry, we're, we're wrapping up. Cat cam incoming. Absolutely not. The cat's bat trying to batter its way out of the door right now. It's going to leave it waiting. Let's check on these. So, Francisco Javier, one of our own. Hang on. Apologies. Um, let me let the cat out. Here we go. We're back. Cats have been released. <laughs> he's he's run off for something to eat, I think. Um, so yeah, no cat, no cat cams. Uh, Dragoons cats love sitting in, in in your lap. Not here. Uh, certainly, certainly not the boy cat. Nah, he could, the boy cat could not pick me out of the lineup. The boy cat has got a bromance with my eldest son going on. Otherwise, he's not overly fussed about us, to be honest. We've got an. We've also got a girl cat, so the boy cat sister, who just follows Mrs. Llama around everywhere. He's just her shadow. Uh, and middle middle child Llama, he gets on well with both the cats, to be honest. And then we've got an elderly cat as well. Again, the elderly cat is obsessed with Mrs. Llama. I don't know whether that's a female thing. The girl cats follow Mrs. Llama around like she's I don't know, mother hen. Um. Is there any regulation in La Liga about homegrown players? Well, of course, I read through the, the rules of the league thoroughly upon taking over. Um, the squad must have no more than four players in the playing 11 who've been registered for a different team. Only players registered in this competition are eligible to play. It doesn't look like it in La Liga 2. Um... No, it doesn't look like it. it doesn't look like it. Um, who let the cats out? Very good, Isaac. Big fan of your work there. Big fan of your work. Um, cat was here for four four two and had enough the fancy tactics. I think you could be right there. Got no game. Good news for you. Uh, transfer window opens in seven game days. 
so you can finally bulk out that squad. Uh, yeah, let, uh, let me just have a little look. Who else have we got that's that's one of our one of our own? So we've got Guillermo, 17-year-old. We've produced that. That looks very good to me. And we can only produce that a couple of seasons ago, 2029, two years ago. So our facilities are not great, but if we have something coming through of that kind of caliber, I, don't, I doubt we've even got the, the report yet, have we? No, got nothing. But I tell you what. But what else we got? Alfonso Bonso down here. I mean, that's not shabby either, is it? Bayacano, they produce some decent little youngsters. The other one I wanted to have a look at was Dominic. Is he ours? Oh, no. Okay, they've brought him in. He, he's from what's Levante? Is that Sevilla? Oh, Valencia. And the other club in Valencia. Well, we got, we got any others of our own? Sierra Nevada? Hi, hi, yeah. So, came through a while ago now, but. Another day, a local boy from Hatafe. Producing some players here. And look at this. One, two, three, four games since we conceded a goal. Seven wins on the bounce. Up to fifth in La Liga. 18 games. A long old season. 42 to play. But I tell you what. We've made things interesting here, I think. We've bounced in and we made things interesting. Now, look, I'm not getting carried away. But five points shy of Racing Santander. Just saying. Just saying. It's not a million miles away. Anyway. Um, Joshua Brown. We're going to win the Conference League in three to four seasons. That would be nice, wouldn't it? That would be nice. Thank you, everybody, for seeing in the weekend with us this afternoon. I hope you enjoy the football tomorrow. If you're watching it, I hope you have a wonderful weekend out there in the sunshine. Treat yourselves well. You deserve it after a hard working week. We're going to be back every stream next week. Uh, we're going to do Mondays 1 till 3, Wednesdays 1 till 3. We'll be back next Friday as well. Um, we're going to be carrying on our season with Raya Vallecano. By the time you see us on Monday, I think we might have a cheeky little transfer window in the bag. I'm not saying title race yet. Joshua Brown is saying title race. I'm not using those words. Let's just see where we are when we come back on Monday. You never know. Things could be exciting. Have a lovely weekend. We'll see you then.